y'all this is Olive Destiny and in this video I will be sharing with you all sort of like a hair type of vlog. If you saw part one where I took down my wig, took down my braids and shampooed and conditioned my hair, I'll combine it would have been way too long. So in this video I'm just going to be styling my hair, taking you all through my difficult blow drying process. I'm not used to having this much new growth like let's be honest I'm nine months post relaxer. For as long as I'm able to really maintain my hair without needing a relaxer, we're going to see how long that could possibly be. I don't know. Like, my hair looks like I got a relaxer, but that's just because I'm able to really straighten it very well without one. Oh, snaps, I got mascara right there. Well, I do realize that I do need to get a trim, so that's not going to be done in this video, but it's definitely a long little enjoyable hair vlog for all of you that did vote to see more of my real hair on my YouTube poll. And just in case it wasn't clear in the poll, it didn't really mean that whichever one got the most, I was going to neglect uploading for the other options. A way for me to see what you all really wanted. So I'm glad that I did post that poll to be able to say, whoa, Destiny, they want to see your real hair, girl. Like, you're slacking. So it took me like 30 minutes to detangle my hair despite what it looks like right now it's 126 126 in the morning we're gonna you know we're gonna keep it pushing the Kentu anti-break oil the strengthening one i'm going to apply about three pumps of this to my hair i know that you all be telling me sometimes like oh destiny your hair make sure that it's lightweight and blah 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 but i just i can't blow dry my hair without anything in it i'm gonna try to keep it light that's the only product that I'm going to use and as far as a heat protector this one is also by Cantu. These are the same two products I use when I straighten my cousin's hair so I'm just going to use the same two on mine and this is just a thermal heat protector. I'm going to do this in sections. Works a little bit better than trying to tackle all of my hair at once. So this is like so much new growth. Oh I just combed it out and it's tangled again. This is the Infinity Pro blow dry. That's so loud. It's 1.30. <laughs> Wake up. When you live in the house with a girl that's trying to film YouTube videos at any time of the night, any time of the morning, yeah, you just gotta roll with it. <sighs> now the battery's low. Great. Yep, I wanna plant my hair up and go to bed now. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what I was thinking at all. I never had such a hard time doing my hair. I ain't feeling this. I'm not feeling this at all. I think I've been so used to using a blow dry with an actual comb attachment that trying to do this whole comb and blow dry, dimming brush and blow dry, I'm not feeling it on top of it being 136. And I know y'all probably gonna say, well, I mean, you the one that decided to do your hair this late at night. But no, it was actually like maybe 9.30 when I got started. I'm gonna have to trash all this footage. Nobody wants to see me sit here and be like, oh my god, my hair. It's by from Dollar Tree today. I should have rinsed it off. Oh, I got some water. <laughs> She's so ratchet. I'm over editing my videos too tough. All of this kind of stuff is gonna be in here again from now on. Let me know if y'all like it. Oh, hoo, hoo. This is the Bi Sparkling Antioxidant Infusion. I have had Bi before, but not in this cute little sleek little slim little packaging. Oh, let's try this again. If you have seen me blow dry my hair on my channel before, you know that I've always used a blow dry with a comb attachment. And I think that the reason I was struggling with the dimming brush, even though I have used that to blow dry my hair before, is probably because I had more new growth. I don't really care about fixing my edges and stuff until I finish. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I just want to get this done at this point. So this is how I'm straightening my hair in real time before I go ahead and speed up the clips for you all. I'm doing the chasing method and then I also just start from the back and work my way to the front taking very small sections. That just helps me to get the roots straight and make sure that my hair is nice and straight all over. If you've seen me flat iron my hair on my channel before, you know that I normally like to tuck my ends. But I thought that I wanted to go ahead and trim my hair which is why I was straightening it like bone straight so that I could really get like an even cut. I'm struggling at this point getting product in my eye. I was like, let's just go ahead and finish the hair. I ain't no trim. I ain't no none of this. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to get one. I just didn't do it in this video. So, disclaimer on that. But moving along from the trim, I don't want to waste my whole voiceover space on that. I slowed this clip up to show you all kind of like that line of demarcation where you can see my natural hair coming in. I think that the relaxed parts is kind of breaking off in some sections, which is causing my hair to look more see-through towards the ends just because my... Um, natural hair is growing in a little more thicker I guess if that makes any sense 3 42 in the morning yep she's ready to go to bed so I am going to get a trim I just felt no need to 
prolong my footage just because I didn't have the trim just yet. So stay tuned for that. I am most likely going to go and get a professional trim. Um, I just have to find someone to do it. But yeah, I went ahead and just wrapped my hair up after that. And then we're just going to proceed with the rest of my footage from that next morning. Big ol', big ol', big ol', boy. Come up some more. Let me go back. Top of your head, I can't see it. For real? I can see it now. I can see it at first. Oh, that's a waste of footage then. You can not see me calm my hair down. I can see it, but I can't see like, the tip of your head. It's, oh, I mean, it's grown. Even is when they're already even. We're about to go though, so I'll come back. Let's go back home. It's like way later, probably. Yeah, it's like 9.35. I had to go ahead and fix my edges in the car because Dominique was like, let's go. And we ran to Dollar General because they're closing and they had all this stuff on sale. So let me know if y'all want to see what I bought, by the way. Let's go ahead and look at my hair. Overall, this is what it looks like. And I'll insert pictures from when I actually did have that apple cider vinegar mishap. The way you all can see what my hair looked like then. I just kind of comb my hair out and just sit back down to film for you all. So anything that's out of place, I just haven't touched that up just yet as far as my edges go. This is a look at the side of my hair. And I feel like my hair was a little more thicker towards the ends in October when I straightened it. I feel like if I wasn't shampooing and conditioning and braiding my hair right back up, I could have noticed my ends sooner. Overall, if you all have been keeping up and remember the apple cider vinegar ex well, not experiment. I don't know what I was thinking why I tried that. That was the worst thing I could have tried from the comment section like ever in the history of. <laughs> never ever and y'all know what's so funny I got an email from a company about an apple cider shampoo or something I was like apple cider who I mean I make apple cider drinks now like for weight loss and things like that but that's completely different as far as my hair nothing with apple cider will ever touch my hair again overall my hair is definitely more healthy when I was flat ironing my hair up until this point right here, that's about how much natural hair I have and I can tell because that line of demarcation is strong right there. Like the flat iron, it was just like, ugh. And a ponytail so that y'all can also see what that looks like. I don't feel like touching my edges up again, so more so I'm just showing you all my hair at this point. I hope I have an old picture I can find of an older ponytail as well. Really see what I mean about this difference between a relaxer and how much of my hair has grown out. I'm just going to kind of messily work it up since it's straight. I also don't really have any scrunches or anything because I've been wearing mostly wigs. So wearing wigs when you do your own hair that you realize the lack of hair products that you have. <laughs> because for wigs it's like a shampoo and a conditioner. Got to be glue, gel, and freeze spray. Hey, rough estimate. Ponytail for me, right? Let me find out that all of this is natural now. I would like to wet that and see, but not really destiny. So this is my ponytail. That's a rough estimate of my ponytail. If y'all could touch my ponytail and you ran to about here, this is relaxed hair. All of that is relaxed hair, which again is the reason I'm, I'm giving it to y'all straight right now, which is really uh, the reason that I do feel again as well when I let my hair down because when I rubbed this ponytail and I had Boone to do the same thing I wish I would have got her reaction on camera when I rubbed my hair I should have fixed my edges because y'all gonna drag me <laughs> but when I rub my hair down to like here I could tell that this is relaxed hair right there and so when I let my hair down that's why I feel like it's looking more probably see-through towards the ends because the natural part of the top is just a little more full but at the same time I guess you kind of can't won't say that it's that full if I was able to get this flat you know I don't know what I'm talking about I'm gonna just shut up now all the rest of this is gonna be voiceover I'm going to attempt to elaborate on the point that I was trying to make. <laughs> also, this picture is from when I roller set my hair back in October of 2017. I honestly think that when I roller set my hair as a way of straightening it, I get thicker results compared to when I flat iron my hair to straighten it. But just because the flat iron, I can really just get my hair nice and straight compared to the roller set, which is then you wrap it up and all of that stuff. But with me having this much new growth, I honestly wouldn't even attempt to roller set my hair at this point. Also, I was just doing my little Arnell Armand inspired half up, half down, just trying to see how I was gonna style my hair 
before I proceeded to go ahead and curl it up, which you'll see later on. But as far as the line of demarcation, what I was saying, in some areas, I feel that my hair has slowly been breaking off. And then in some areas, it hasn't as a result of me having so much new growth. But if at the same time, I would have, I wouldn't have been shampooing, conditioning, and just braiding my hair right back up, I probably would have noticed sooner if I would have been straightening my hair more often that I needed that trim and then on top of shampoo and conditioning and wearing braids I could have allowed my hair to grow out that way I hope that makes sense I don't know it makes sense in my head but then I can't even explain it in my voiceover <laughs> um pretty much the way that I did this I really just bend the hair anyway it didn't really matter to me I find that if I just bend them all different ways then it'll just help me to get some sort of definition and my curls won't really clump together because they're not all going in the same direction. One was curled this way and then the other one was curled that way. Probably doesn't make sense. Or at least that's what I'm hoping happens. I just start at the end, twist the hair up. You can choose to lay it flat and pin it or you can stand it up. Plus when I lay down on it anyway, it's gonna flatten out and do whatever it wants. So, okay, so I'm gonna pretty much sleep on that. I'm just gonna tie it up with this hair scarf and we'll style it in the morning. I was unable to get footage of me removing my pin curls that next morning since I had to go ahead and get ready for church. It was like 7.30 in the morning. But if it counts for anything, this is the result of my pin curls two days later. Instead of wearing my hair down, I'm going to go ahead and pin it up at this point. And the hairstyle that I'll be doing is inspired by Arnel Armand here on YouTube. It's from her How I Lay My Edges and Get My Bun to Look Full video. Uh, but as far as me leaving the pieces down, that's how she had her hair and the twins makeup swap with Alyssa. And I'll put pictures on the screen for you all to see. So yeah, this hairstyle was like super quick and easy to do. And as far as me recurling my hair after I had already flat ironed it, um, I could have just put flexi rods in it and used moisturizer to get the curls. But I, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and get it done. So I just did the pin curl with the flat iron thing. But I did have my flat iron on low just to kind of get some heat to the hair. And then by putting the pin curl in it, it was going to help to set the curl in place. Girl. Yeah, I do really like this hairstyle. And overall, I do feel that my hair is getting to a more healthy state slowly but surely. But yeah, let me know what you all think down below. I literally just did this in two minutes. That's cute. That's really cute. It's neat but messy. I'm loving this. I'm really liking this. I'm getting ready to go to the gym right now. If you all follow me on Instagram, they probably heard me talking about should I go to the gym and sweat my hair out? Do I not go to the gym? But I've been getting results, so I want to go ahead and go. I tried to cover as much as I can within this video, but when I'm actually sitting here filming and it was late, I tend to forget something. Definitely read my description box if there's anything that I may have missed or left out. It will definitely all be there. If not, then we can chat in the comment section down below. Questions and comments, be sure to leave all of that down below. And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. So much for watching. What was that? And as always, I thank you all so much for watching. Bye.